Richard's disposal will be picking up trash in the capital city for the time being, but the future of Jackson's garbage collection is less clear. 12 News, Richard Lake spoke with City Council President Ashby Foote on how a long-term garbage collection deal could be made. Jackson City Council approved the contract of waste management yesterday in executive session while also agreeing to pay Richard's disposal nearly $5 million for their completed work. While Jackson is covered in the short term, a long term deal has still not been reached. According to Council President Ashby Foote, starting up the request for proposal process is the best way to ensure one. We need to go back to the RFP and boot that up and finish it, shouldn't take that long, and then go move forward. The RFP process allows for city council to hear from multiple vendors before voting. Price, quality of work, and ability to finish the work are all factors discussed in voting. While waste management contract was approved, the future of garbage collection in Jackson may look different. It may not be our, uh, um, waste management, but they scored very well in the, in the RFP. We're using an initiative of the council to set this pathway to get us to a point where we can have a long-term contract that gets four votes put in place so we don't have to worry about it for another six years. The future will largely be determined by the Mississippi Supreme Court. A ruling on Mayor Lumumba's veto on the City Council's negative vote of the original Richard's Disposal emergency contract is expected by the end of this year or early next year. If it gets overturned and to the mayor's benefit, then Richard's would in fact have a one-year contract. If it doesn't get overturned, then the, the, um, we're back at square zero and have to start all over. Waste management could take over trash collection on or before January 1st, pending the Mississippi Supreme Court's ruling. According to President Foote, ending this legal battle is crucial for the city of Jackson. It's been a lot for the general public, and it's been, it has been less than positive PR for the city of Jackson. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.